Have you heard about the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost? Do you have idea about it? Did your church or religion talk about Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit? If not, come and join me as I discuss the lesson about the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. But before we start, intro. Paso. Are you looking for tips for life? Facts about plants, biblical truth, tutorial, travel, experiences, and blogs? Ang lahat ng iyan ay dito lang sa Kaalaman TV! The Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost In this video, I'm going to share to you two subtopic about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. The first one is we are going to answer the question, what is the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost? Number two, what are the purpose of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost? So, as we go along in this video, let's discover these things. So, what is the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit? Number one, that is God's new manifestation. According to John chapter 4, verse 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So the first statement here is, God is a spirit. Next. And in John chapter 7 verse 37 to 39, it says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And 39. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. So that is number one, God's new manifestation. Number two, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is a gift. Yes, you heard it right. It's a gift. According to Acts chapter 2 verse 38, it says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So when we talk about Holy Ghost, that is a gift. I love gift, and I'm sure you too love gift. And so Luke chapter 11 verse 13, If ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit that ask Him? So here, it says good gifts. So the story here is, it says that when his son, okay, of a father will ask for bread, will give him a stone, will ask for fish, will his father will give him a serpent, the son will ask for an egg, thus his father will give him a scorpion. Of course, it will not. So even we people, we are evil, we are sinners, but we know how to give good gifts. And this scripture in Luke chapter 11 verse 13 says, How much more our heavenly Father. So the Holy Spirit is considered as a gift. And number three, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is the comforter. Do you need comforter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of us need some comfort because every day, every day we struggle we encounter trials, problems, loneliness, and we need comfort. And you know what? Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is our comforter. The best comforter that we can have. John chapter 15 verse 26 says, But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. But when the comforter is come. Okay, so here in this uh, story, there is no Holy Ghost yet because Jesus has not, did not yet been glorified. But he says, it says that the Comforter will come. But in our day today, yes, the Holy Ghost we can acquire or we can receive now the Holy Ghost. In short, we can we have the chance to acquire or to have this Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Let's continue. John 16 verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. Here Jesus speaking that when he will not be glorified or he will not leave his disciples, the Comforter 
pointing out to the Holy Spirit will not come upon them. And so do we. Alright? So, let's go. Number four, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is a seal of ownership. It means we are owned by God if we have that. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believe, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Verse 14, Which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession and to the praise of His glory. So here is a statement, Ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So when we receive the Holy Ghost, we are sealed that God owned us. We are owned by God if we have this Holy Ghost. Okay, let's continue. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Wow! When we have this Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, we are sealed in the day, in the day of redemption. Next, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22. Who hath also sealed us, and given the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Again, the word is seal. Okay? So the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is a seal. Next, the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is a witness that we dwell in Him, in God, and God in us. 1 John chapter 3, verse 24, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. Wow! God is abiding you and me when we have that Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. Is it amazing? Mm -hmm. Number six, Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost is a promise of Father. Yes, you heard it right. It is a promise. Luke chapter 24 verse 49, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with the power from on high. Yes, the power from on high referring to that Holy Spirit, to that Holy Ghost, that it will be poured out after Christ is glorified. Acts chapter 1 verse 4, And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith ye, ye have heard of me. That time, during that time, the disciples or the followers of Jesus Christ should wait on that place, on that Jerusalem, because time will come that the promise of the Father will come upon them. And of course, Acts chapter 2 verse 38 to 39 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. 39, For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. What a great promise! It is for you, for me, to our children, and to all, even that they are very far, very far, as many as the Lord our God shall call. That is the Holy Ghost. That is the Spirit. That is the promise of God to every one of us. My dear friends, you are watching this. You are listening. Let me tell you this. This Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost is also for you, for your children, and to all that are afar off. So let's review before we proceed to our next subtopic. Why is the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost? First, that is God's new manifestation. That is the promise of the Father. That is a gift. That is the comforter. That is the seal of ownership that God owns you. And that is a witness or proof that we dwell in God and God dwell in us. So that is the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. And let's proceed to the next. Another question that we have to answer today in this video, what are the purpose of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost? What are the purpose? Why we should receive this? Why we should have this in our life, in our heart. Number one, it's because it brings rest, peace, and joy in your life. It brings rest, peace, and joy. Isaiah 28 verse 11, For with the stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to his to these people. To whom he said, This is the rest, wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. Sad to say, they would not hear. But the scripture says that this is rest. Next, Romans 14, 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Another, another purpose of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost is helps us to pray. Yeah, it helps us to pray. Romans 8, 26, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. 
1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 14. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayeth, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit, and I will sing with understanding also. So it helps us to pray. Jude 1, 20. But ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. So that is the purpose of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. It helps us to pray. Number three, purpose. It gives us the power to witness. Wow, we have the power. We have the power to witness. Acts 1, 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be the witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Wow. And another, Acts 4, 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken, and where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Wow! With boldness. They speak the word of God with boldness. Number four, it teaches, guides, and shows us things to come. That's the purpose of the Holy Ghost. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, from the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things. Wow! It will teach us all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Another, John 16, 13, How bet when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you in all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The Spirit of truth is come, he will guide you in all truth, and will show you all things to come. That is the Spirit. That is the Holy Ghost. Number five. The purpose of the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is it gives us power over the enemy. Yes, power over the enemy. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I gave unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall any means hurt you. What a great thing. Is it? Isn't it? Yeah. Another, Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like the fl a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Wow. The spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, against that enemy. And another, 1 John 4, 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. My dear friends, if you had the Spirit or the Holy Ghost of God, mm -hmm, you are greater than the enemy. You are greater than the enemy. Number six, the last one. It opens the door to other gifts of the Spirit. Recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and chapter 14. So we have here the example of other gifts. The gifts of healing, the gifts of faith, working of miracles, the prophesying, prophecy. That's all the gifts. And many more. It opens the door to other gifts and for of the Spirit. Before we end this video, let's have a review first. Why we should receive this Holy Ghost? Why it is very important to have this Holy Ghost? Number one, it brings rest, peace, and joy. Help us to pray. Give us power to witness. Teach us, guides, and show us the things to come. Gives us power over the enemy. Opens the door to other gifts of the Spirit. So that's all our lesson for today. So next Bible truth that I'm going to share is about the first evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. And who already received it as recorded in the Bible and as of today. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you. Yun lamang po, maraming salamat sa panunood. At kung ikaw ay bago sa channel na ito, aking kitang inaanyayahan na mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para maging updated ka sa susunod naming mga video. Usapang kaalaman ay isang usapang makabuluhan. Yun lamang, paalam!